welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a Shein try-on haul. So I think everybody knows what Shein is. Um, it's a company based out of China, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I think it's based out of China. And from what I've heard in the past, it's um, very cheap stuff. Some good quality things, but not always great quality. Usually they say to read the reviews. And then also that it takes a really long time to ship. So right off the bat, I will say it only took six days for my order to come in, which is fantastic, especially if it is coming from China. So I was very surprised by that. I was expecting it to take like, I don't know, probably a month or something. It ended up coming um, really quickly. I mean, within six days and I got quite a few things. I have not opened the box. I have, or I opened the box, but I haven't pulled anything out. Um, I kind of wanted to do a first impressions along with you guys so you guys can kind of see right off the bat um, how the quality is and stuff like that. So without further ado, I don't want to chit chat too much about it. Um, we'll just go ahead and jump right into it. If you are new, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like this video if you enjoy um, the Shein try on haul. We'll see you next. All right, I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out. I'm sorry if it's a little loud and crinkly. I, um, didn't, like I said, I didn't want to take anything out. So this looks like it's, I got a rust. I don't even remember what I got, honestly. I did it on a whim. I, said, I think I spent $150, maybe a little bit more. I will see if there is a receipt in here and I'll mark up on the screen how much each item is because I really don't remember. I know the sweaters were, I'm pretty sure in like the $24, $25 range, which isn't super inexpensive if you want to compare it to um, like my boutique or Target or something like that. So they're not the cheapest, um, but still a good price. So the first one we have here is a rust sweater. Looks like it's pretty good quality. I mean, it's pretty normal. It has nice stitching. I don't see any strings coming off of it. I think it is a little bit cropped. It looks a little bit cropped in my opinion. Um, cute to tuck in with like a mini skirt or something like that. But yeah, I'm impressed with this one. Very cute. Let's see. So it looks like a floral blouse that looks like it's going to tie in the front. So right off the bat, um, I think it's okay quality. I wouldn't say it's the best. I probably paid like $12 for this shirt, so I really can't complain, but it looks like it ties here. So I'm not necessarily always a huge fan of shirts like this because there's nothing holding it together in case these strings do come untied. Um, usually if it's a wrap top or something, I like to have another set of something, whether it's a button or whatever, but We'll see, we'll try it on, see how it looks. Okay, and next up we have another sweater. This looks beautiful and really, really great quality. Oh, and this doesn't even have like a Shein um, tag on it. So that's interesting, does it have anything else? That doesn't have a tag and I don't think this one had a tag either. Okay, so they're unbranded is what we call it. Um, it just has these little pom-poms in the front. These would be really cute with black jeans or distressed denim. It has a little crisscrossing here. As you can see, I really love this. This feels really warm, really comfortable, and actually really great quality. So that's definitely a win for this. Oh my God, this is so soft. Holy smokes. Okay. Just another cute little, this is like a terracotta color. This looks a little bit cropped. The zipper feels a little bit, this feels like something you probably get at like Walmart or whatever. You know how they have the Sherpas that are like, I don't know, 10 bucks or whatever. This feels like that quality. It is very, very soft. I don't expect this to last very long um, just because it does feel kind of thin, but I will say it's very, very soft. All right, and next it looks like I got a popcorn cardigan. This is very cute. Like it, this one looks like it's pretty thin too. Um, it doesn't have a lining or anything. I would totally pair this with a graphic tee and some black leggings. Uh, it definitely feels soft. It's not the best quality, like I said, but it's good. I mean, for the price I paid, I. Won't complain about that one. Okay, and next up, it looks like I got a basic olive green turtleneck. These are great to pair with um, kimonos or cardigans, pretty much anything underneath your um, sweaters if you're going out for a cold night or something. That's very cute. Okay, and so this is a midi dress. So this is not necessarily ideal for the fall or winter, but I think I bought it to pair with this cardigan. So we'll do that. Um, it just has little ruching on the side, which is very flattering. Let's see, is it see-through? Yeah, well, maybe in the sun it would be see-through, but it's really not bad, especially since it's black. Very cute, it looks like it has a really good length to it too, which is I need because I am pretty tall, so 
see what this is. Oh, it looks like I got a sports. Oh, I love this. That is cute. So it looks like it's just a little cropped sports bra. It looks like it comes down a little bit further. It seems like it would have some really great support to it, actually. This is a pretty big clasp back here. There's four clasps which I love for working out. I need all the support I can get. It does have removable pads, which I like, because sometimes I like to take those out. Um, yeah, the cups look like they're a little bit small, but we'll be able to see. I got a medium in that. This I'm very excited for. So I'm all about the sets right now, the lounge sets, being comfy and all that fun stuff. So this is a lounge set. It looks like I got a small in this. So this is just the top, it's a little um, crop top, very basic, and then just some joggers. This is actually really nice. I like this a lot. I can't wait to try this one on. This will be a good one. I got a small, but these look like they're pretty big. I mean, maybe a four to six would be into a small, but um, I would say if you're any smaller than me, definitely go with an extra small on this. And then I think I have two skirts. I'm not a huge skirt person. Um, I don't know. I just don't wear them. Oh no, this is a dress. So this, oh, this would be so cute with that. That's probably why I did it with this underneath it. This turtleneck, yep, that's happening. Um, yeah, this is a little overall dress. It has pockets. This quality, um, yeah, not really a huge fan of the quality of this one, to be honest with you. It's super thin and it's not, um, I don't know, it just feels kind of like cardboard or something. Um, I got a small on this one too. It looks like a run true to size. Very cute, with some tall boots. And then last, I think I did get a skirt. This should be a skirt at least. Yes. This, I'm definitely gonna pair with that white cream sweater and tuck it in the front. I've been loving those outfits on Pinterest. Um, this looks like it's pretty good quality. I mean, nothing fancy. It'll do the job. All right, so uh, that was everything that I ended up getting. I'm going to try everything on and tell you guys like a little bit review of what um, the items look like and we will go from there. Okay guys, first one up is this Sherpa um, cropped zip up sweater i actually really like this i think it would be very cute for just running errands um nothing too fancy but it is very cozy and um i actually don't have anything on underneath it right now so it's still comfy on the inside it's not super soft but still pretty cute and it actually fits my arms which is a surprise because that usually doesn't happen i have very long arms <laughs> but yeah that one's pretty good okay and so this is the sweater that i got um I don't know. I like it. My hair's so big right now. Um, I like it, but I feel like it's not like very flattering. Maybe it is. I don't know. Probably tucked in with a pair of jeans would be cute. Um, but yeah, that's this. The neck turtleneck isn't super tight or anything like that, but I'm not a huge... I like turtlenecks, but if they're like down here. So yeah, that's the rest sweater. All right, so next up is these um, sweatpants, these joggers, and this cute crop top set. So these run really big so i'm very surprised that this runs big especially coming from china i always saw it like to size up and that stuff but i would say these definitely run big so if you um want to pick this up i would say size down if you're any smaller or whatever i'm in the small and i'm like a four and jeans that feels good it's a little bit snug on me and this is a little bit see-through to be honest with you um but i mean for being at home and stuff i think it would be fine let's back I think I got pants just like this from, actually I do have pants just like this from Victoria's Secrets uh, last year and I'm pretty sure I paid like $60 for them so this one's a win. I'm just going to show this dress before I pair it with the cardigan but this is the black midi dress. It's very cute. It has this ruching that you can adjust so if you want it shorter you can make it shorter. Um, yeah this is very cute. I got this in a small I believe. I really like it. It's a cute little date night dress and for the fall you can just pair a cardigan over it. Okay, and this is it with the cardigan. I would totally wear this cardigan. I don't know if I would wear them together. Yeah, I probably would. Um, but this is the popcorn cardigan. It has a little pocket here. It's cute. It's good. It fits really well. Um, the sleeves are a little bit tight. I got the small and the sleeves do feel like they're a little bit tight. So if you have larger arms or you work out or anything like that, I would probably size up in this. You could probably size up as much as you want. These types of cardigans don't, I mean, you can have them as oversized as need be. But I like this one. Yeah, I think this is a little big for me. I would probably have to size up to a medium in this just to like give me more coverage here. But then it would be really baggy around my waist. So I don't know. Maybe 
I would probably pair this with a black undershirt instead. Um, I'm not sure how much I love this like super vibrant color, but it is very cute. Um, the turtleneck, I really like the um, feel of it, but it does seem to run small. It took me like two minutes to get into, so I would size up in this. The sleeves are short. It's like short on my body too. I definitely wouldn't be able to like tuck it in with jeans or anything, um, but this is a very cute overall. I like it if you have a smaller chest than I do. I would say to pick this one up okay so this might be my favorite I love the skirt um, I think it's very very flattering it needs to be ironed but aside from that I think it's very flattering it's comfortable I will say it is short on the bum very short so if I was to go out and like actually be doing something I would probably pair black tights or something underneath it and go with it like that this sweater is such good quality I, this doesn't seem like it's something from Shein, to be honest with you. Um, it definitely looks like something that you get from a boutique. It has just really gorgeous detailing. It's so soft. And I just really, really like it. This is what it looks like. Not tucked in. But I think it'd be cute with, like, jeans or anything. And it's work approved, but also, like, cute enough to, like, go out to, like, a brewery and hang out with friends or something. Yes. And I already got makeup on it, so there's that. Um, I love this. This is probably my favorite. I would definitely recommend getting this one and the skirt honestly I would say size up if you're any bigger than me because it does it's like I would have to size up if I even gained like 10 more pounds so there's that one okay and for our second to last item it's this sports bra I did end up taking the pads out of there only because you could like see like all the outline it was just weird looking it didn't look good which I normally have to do for my sports bras so this is a sports bra I actually really 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 like it it has a pretty thick back like I said it feels really comfortable I love bras that come down a little bit here um, that way I can wear you know high-waisted sweatpants or high-waisted um, leggings and feel more comfortable in them uh, but yeah I really like this and I love the color I might have to go back and pick this up in the other colors because I remember them having other ones okay and for our last but not least piece this is the floral blouse um, I don't know. I like it, but I don't foresee myself wearing this very often. It's cute, but number one, it's very, very low cut, and it's like tied as tight as it can be, and it's kind of short. I don't know. Maybe if I was to like go out to a, a bar or a date night with um, my husband, then I would, but I don't know. Tell me what you think. Obviously, I'm going to keep it because it's probably like $9, but, and it smells. It smells like BO, to be honest with you. <laughs> Not a huge fan of that. Alright guys, so it looks like I picked out my favorite because I just went to like get back in comfy clothes and I decided to put this on. So I'm going to wrap up today's video there. Um, like I said, if you guys enjoy these types of videos, I can totally do more stores. Leave down in the comments what store you would like me to do um, and then I can definitely do it for you. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!